As we work to rebound from the effects of the pandemic, you may begin to see more summer concerts and festivals. And News 5's Aaron Chapman is live with us outside Colorado College, where earlier tonight students from all around the world played in the festival's orchestra concert, Aaron. Yeah, Elizabeth, if you take a look behind me, it's something we haven't really seen in a while. People taking down the stage. Well, this is actually the 37th year that CC has held this festival, but it's actually the first time ever that one of the concerts was held outside and it was free. The sound of live music. The best thing about music is that it's a experience that everybody does together. But during the pandemic, we were unable to do that. For 37 years, Colorado College has put on the Summer Music Festival. Last year, it was online due to COVID, but this year? It's gonna be a great happening. People are gonna come here, they're gonna to listen to music, and then they're gonna go home, and they're gonna feel that connection that they haven't had. And as for the musicians themselves. But there's a wonderful excitement in their voice. Playing for an audience is what we work for all the time. Benjamin Mekanula hasn't been able to play in front of an audience in more than a year. It's just been in the practice room and like in front of teachers for so long, so this will be really nice to see a live audience. A time to finally come together to play. I haven't had the feeling of playing in front of an audience for a while, so this should be really a special experience. And listen as one. A lot of people missed that feeling of togetherness with even strangers, where you would go to a concert and you would listen to the music that you'd like to listen to, and that person next to you may never know ever again, but you talk to them and you... Now, just in case if you missed tonight's concert, don't worry, there will be another one held right here at Monument Valley Park on CC's campus on June 25th. For now, always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. I'm Erin Chapman, News 5. Getting back to normal, Aaron.